the one guest at Hervé Villachez's funeral no one expected to see. Hervé Villachez was a remarkable figure in the entertainment industry, best known for his distinctive presence and memorable roles that left an indelible mark on popular culture. Born on April 23, 1943, in Paris, France, Villachez's life was shaped by a rare form of dwarfism, which significantly influenced both his personal and professional journeys. Despite the challenges associated with his condition, Villachez displayed an extraordinary determination to succeed, overcoming societal prejudices and physical limitations to achieve stardom. Villachez's early life was marked by adversity. As a child, he faced numerous medical challenges related to his condition, which affected his growth and overall health. However, his spirit remained undaunted. Villachez's parents, recognizing his intelligence and artistic talent, encouraged him to pursue his passions. He attended the prestigious École des Beaux-Arts in Paris, where he studied art, initially aiming to become a painter. His work in this field demonstrated his creativity and skill, but it was his eventual move into acting that would define his legacy. In the late 1960s, Villachez moved to the United States, where he sought greater opportunities in the entertainment industry. His first major break came with the film The Man with the Golden Gun, 1974 where he portrayed Nick Knack, a cunning and memorable henchman in the James Bond franchise. Villachez's performance was widely praised, and it helped him gain international recognition. His portrayal of Nick Knack was not only a testament to his acting abilities but also a reflection of his unique ability to infuse complex characters with charm and depth, even in roles that could easily have been reduced to mere stereotypes. Villachez's most iconic role came in the late 1970s when he was cast as Tattoo, the energetic and loyal assistant to Mr. Rourke on the television series Fantasy Island. The show, which ran from 1977 to 1984, became a cultural phenomenon, and Villachez's catchphrase, De Plain, De Plain, became instantly recognizable. Tattoo was more than just a sidekick. He was an integral part of the show's appeal, and Villachez's chemistry with co-star Ricardo Montalban was a key factor in the series' success. Through his portrayal of Tattoo, Villachez became a beloved television personality, endearing himself to millions of viewers around the world. Despite his professional success, Villachez's personal life was fraught with challenges. He struggled with the physical pain and health issues associated with his condition, and he often felt isolated due to the stigma surrounding his dwarfism. Villachez was a complex individual who experienced deep emotional turmoil, despite the joyful and lively characters he portrayed on screen. His personal relationships were also tumultuous, he was married twice, and his relationships were often marked by intense emotions and difficulties. Tragically, Hervé Villachez's life ended in heartbreak. On September 4, 1993, at the age of 50, Villachez took his own life at his home in North Hollywood, California. His death was a profound loss to the entertainment industry and to those who admired his work and spirit. In the years following his death, there has been a growing recognition of Villachez's contributions to television and film, as well as a greater understanding of the personal struggles he endured. Hervé Villachez, the beloved actor best known for his role as Tattoo on the hit television series Fantasy Island, was a man who lived a life as colorful and dramatic as the characters he portrayed on screen. His untimely death in 1993 left fans and colleagues alike mourning the loss of a unique talent. However, it was not just the public who felt the sting of his passing. At his funeral, a solemn event that drew many from the entertainment industry, there was one guest whose presence shocked everyone in attendance, a figure no one could have anticipated. In the days leading up to his funeral, speculation swirled around who would attend. Villachez had been a controversial figure in Hollywood, known for his larger-than-life personality and tumultuous relationships both on and off set. His career had been a roller coaster, marked by incredible highs and devastating lows. Despite his small stature, Standing at just 3 feet 11 inches tall, Villachez's presence in the industry was undeniable. But as the guest list for his funeral was quietly discussed among those close to him, there was one name that no one mentioned, yet whose appearance would become the most talked about moment of the service. On the day of the funeral, the atmosphere was thick with emotion. Friends, family, and former colleagues filled the pews, 
their faces reflecting the deep loss they felt. Villachez's co-stars from Fantasy Island, including the show's star Ricardo Montalban, were there to pay their respects. The media, too, was present, capturing the somber mood of the event. As the service progressed, memories of Villachez's life were shared, his talents praised, and his struggles acknowledged. It was a fitting tribute to a man who had touched so many lives, both through his work and his personal interactions. However, as the service neared its end, a murmur rippled through the crowd. A figure had entered the church, slipping quietly into a seat at the back. Heads turned, and whispers spread quickly as people recognized who it was. This was someone Villachez had not spoken of in his final years, a person many thought he had severed ties with long ago. The mystery guest was none other than his estranged brother, Patrick Villachez. Patrick Villachez and Hervé had a complicated relationship, one fraught with misunderstandings and unspoken tensions. They had grown up together in France, where Hervé's condition, achondroplasia, a form of dwarfism, had made him the subject of both ridicule and fascination. While Hervé pursued his dreams of acting, leaving Europe for the bright lights of Hollywood, Patrick had taken a different path, one that kept him far from the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world. Their relationship, strained by distance and differing life choices, had reportedly deteriorated over the years. For those who knew Hervé well, the presence of Patrick was a shock. The brothers had not been seen together in public for decades, and it was widely believed that they had cut off all contact. Patrick had never spoken publicly about his brother's success or his struggles, and Hervé, for his part, rarely mentioned his family in interviews. This estrangement made Patrick's appearance at the funeral all the more unexpected and poignant. As Patrick sat silently through the remainder of the service, the tension in the room was palpable. Here was a man who, despite whatever had come between them, had chosen to be present at this final moment, to say goodbye to his brother. It was a gesture that spoke volumes about the complexities of family relationships, how even when bonds are stretched to the breaking point, the ties of blood and shared history can draw people together in moments of profound loss. After the service, as mourners gathered to console one another and share their memories of Hervé, many found themselves glancing at Patrick wondering what thoughts were running through his mind. Some speculated that he had come seeking closure, a chance to reconcile with his brother in death in a way they had never been able to in life. Others believed it was simply a matter of duty, a final act of respect for a sibling he had once been close to. Whatever the reason, Patrick Villachez's presence at Hervé's funeral became the most talked about aspect of the day. In the days that followed, the media picked up on the story, with headlines speculating about the nature of the brothers' relationship and why Patrick had chosen to attend the funeral after so many years of estrangement. Some suggested that Patrick might have regrets about the way things had ended between them, while others wondered if this was his way of honoring Hervé's memory, acknowledging the impact his brother had made on the world despite their differences. For those who had known Hervé Villachez, the sight of his brother at the funeral was a reminder of the actor's humanity, his struggles, his pain, and the complicated relationships that had shaped his life. It underscored the idea that no matter how famous or successful a person becomes, they are still bound by the same familial ties, the same emotional conflicts, as anyone else. Patrick Villachez's unexpected appearance at Hervé's funeral added a layer of poignancy to an already emotional day. It served as a powerful reminder that even in death, the connections we share with our loved ones, no matter how fractured, continue to hold meaning. For those who witnessed it, the sight of Patrick quietly mourning his brother became an indelible image, a symbol of the enduring nature of family and the ways in which love and loss are intertwined. Villachez's legacy continues to be celebrated today. His life and career have been the subject of various documentaries and biographical films most notably My Dinner with Hervé, 2018, in which actor Peter Dinklage portrayed Villachez. The film sheds light on Villachez's life, offering a nuanced portrayal of a man who was much more than his famous roles. Through these tributes, Villachez is remembered not just as an actor, but as a trailblazer who broke barriers in an industry that often overlooked people with physical differences. Different.